What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the faraway paladin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon channel membership and the merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the faraway paladin episode six. Yo, we just ended the last episode with Will leaving. You know, Blood, Mary, they moved on. Their souls are able to be reborn. And that ending of the episode was so heart-wrenching because they showed Blood and Mary before they went to that epic battle when they were still alive. Humans, I guess you want to say, when they were still humans. And they were talking about how they wanted to have a son if they survived and name him Will. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so now we're going to see their child, you know, go on adventures, experience life. Oh, this episode is going to be good. I saw the thumbnails, different kinds, there's different kinds. And we're going to encounter the elf boy. And I'm really interested how this is going to turn out because from what I remember in the manga, he's got a chip on his shoulder. So I'm really interested in seeing how they interact with each other. Look at that Will fighting off all these creatures. Fought demon several times since I left the city of the dead. Every demon riffraff are no match for me. Oh yeah. He's like, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, I think the opening changed. I like it when anime change their openings and such when a new arc is about to happen. Or when a, there's a new arc. I like that. It's been 200 years since Blood and the others were alive. No humans have returned in 200 years. Well, it's probably they couldn't return because it's overrun by demons, right? It's uninhabitable. Unless you're a village of warriors, then it's possible. But... The only reason why people would want to expand is if they can actually um, flourish in that area. Wow. What civilization look like? Oh, what made a hole? What made that? Is that a hole or crater? Or left by immense magic? You call that a scar? Okay, we'll call that scars now. Oh, he's praying for the souls. Look at that, the souls. They're going to be guided by Grayskill now. Oh, that's so cool. Yep, well, it works. <laughs> that's what he looks like. He looks like he made a look like... <gasps> Bam! Wait, why aren't you crossing the bridge? Can't you just use magic to cross the bridge? Do you not want to cross it? You know, when I read the manga, Will looks older to me. I'm wondering if the anime is portraying him in a young image just to portray his age. Like, literally. A bar! Food! Food! Oh, 
Yep, there's an arrow in it. Someone shot it first. It's the elf. So much contemplating, so much thinking. Kind of makes me think of Deku from My Hero Academia. Like, contemplating all his options. Ancient Elvish. Wasn't it something else that he saw? Wasn't it like a duel? Oh, it was the bow. That drew at the top. Yo, this elf looks young too. I swear, in the manga, they look older. I, I swear. I wonder if they did this to show how much lack of maturity they have. Oh, very interesting. Like, look at that. They could pass off as girls. That's how young they look. I wonder if they're going to show, like, how much they've, like, grown in age in this series. Ooh, we're going to see character development from two people. Ooh. Did you just cut? The leg off with the bone? There's no reason why you butcher and debone things. It's hard to cut the bone, okay? Yep, keep your magic secret. Not the second time he said that he said that that he's really devoted. Meat. <laughs> he looks so happy eating the food. He's like mm, so good. <laughs> He's from the south. Bro, there's nothing further. <laughs> Bro. Ben Venture who scrounges in the ruins. I'm assuming that's a common thing. Follow the river downstream, small town in a couple of days. Follow the river downstream. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Don't get involved. Get a clue. Mm, that attitude I was talking about. Is that like a silent incantation? Oh, it was like a silent invoke. 
I invoke the fairies to light the way for me. Goddess of Fae. Oh, he introduced himself. William T. Merblood. <laughs> Alright, so he directed Will to go downstream, but he went up, right? He was a bit crude. <laughs> huh. Did he mention that he was half elf? Could he tell he was a half elf, or did he did he learn he was half elf? Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Bring light to the faraway darkness. Giving him a vision. Menno. Mm -hmm. Fine revelation. Go, Will, go. Go, Will, go, Will, go. Mm. You know what's interesting? Even the Menno say, like, don't get involved. Mm hmm. And he thought he lost Will, but it's like, Will could just track him like nothing. Like, look how he, he did it. Look at that, deflect the arrows. Pew, pew, pew. Or daggers. Whatever weapon it was. Mm-hmm. Revelation is interpreted by the interpreter. Mm-hmm. So you don't really know what it is. They were arrows. And they were from Mendo. He's the perfect traitor. Uh, no. You can't bring down Will that easily. Nah, man. Look at that. Portraying his power. Oh, look at that effect. Using magic to create like an earthquake kind of thing. Dang, yo! It stomped his breath like stop! That looked cool. That looked really cool. Yep, seriously. Ah, uh, I see. Will just wants to knock him down. He's like, I don't want to hurt anyone. Spider web bind. Warrior priest, he is acting like this. That's why he is He's a warrior priest, aka paladin. Area of South Park known as East Woods doesn't reach these dangerous remote areas or regions. Populated by criminals, vicious, with no relatives, adventurers who scavenge the ruins, and other outsiders. So there's really no 
law or authority in this area. Not really much governing them. No order. Everybody's pretty much out for themselves. They're from a neighboring village. At least had enough to stir for winter. Ooh, he's perplexed as to why they invaded. Helped us get rid of dangerous beasts lots of times. Oh. So they kind of had a relationship. What's going on, yo? Yes, I don't remember. Oh, man. You look suspicious. You look like you would take advantage of Will. Look at that! Look at that! That thing! I can assume that if anything were to happen here, you would protect us. Is that a threat? Are you putting pressure on Will? Oh. Will said yes. I don't think Will's naive. I think he knows what he's doing. Oh, good. He wants to know why the others invaded. Yes, he wants to question before proceeding. And he's using Will. He's saying, we got Will here. We can question them. Oh, their village was attacked by demons. He suggested the raid? He's probably because probably because he's the only hunter. He's probably the only hunter, so he knows everybody else in his village are like, they're like, they can't fight demons. They don't have strength. Oh, they have no choice but to hang. Make an example out of them. And also prevent them from invading again. Mm-hmm, they'll loot again. I like how Will acknowledges that that was a smart choice to plunder other places. <laughs> Aw, he still carries his parents' words. <laughs> Money! Grandpa Gus! <laughs> Those guys are flat broke! They're like, brah, you got that much money? They're going to attack him and take that money. Oh, his oath. Can't allow a village occupied even to exist. I want to hire him so you can't hang him. He's important. Kind of sounds like a bribe. Keep him alive and I'll give you money. Govern souls and the cycle of death. Magic! 
betrayal of his belief. That just convinced them. Some gods giving you a tiny smile. I think a bunch of these gods are smiling at you. I think you're entertaining them. What are you after? You just said. Demons are his enemies. Look how skinny his arms are. Oh, he's so young. I can't get over that. Pretty accurate portrayal of their age, then. They're not boys. They're not men. They're teenagers. Mm-hmm. He does need money. And off they go. Boss? Just charge in. We don't have time. <laughs> He's like, what? Charge? I was like, I'm good. I'm used to them. We can charge. Yeah, we, we got this. We need to return the souls. Bring them to the psycho before they get lost and end up stuck. Okay, that was a really good episode introducing Menno. I like this. And I know I said it throughout the episode that they look really young, but they do. They look like teenagers yo they look their age they're not boys they're not men and in the manga i swear i know i said this in my reaction i swear they looked older in the manga like definitely i don't think it was the clothes that made them look older like they look like they went through a lot of crap okay in the manga they did maybe it will look like he was a little night in the manga but in the anime, he looks like he knows like what hardship is. Like, and we saw it. He, it looks like you now there's some characters where they're like they see the good in everything. When he realized that Mena was the perpetrator, the one that led the raid, he was like, "Well, damn!" <laughs> he was like, "No, I thought you were a good person." He was like, "Well, um." I interpreted that divine revelation wrong. <laughs> okay, I thought I was saving you, but no, I'm here to defeat you. Okay, all right. And, you know, he took it as is, and he just followed through. This shows that he is mature for his age, but he hasn't really experienced the world. And not enough, because he's still young, right? While Menno, it's like he is thinking about the village and not thinking about the consequences outside. He's just thinking what they can do right then and there. Sort of like he's not open-minded because he only knows what is around him, right? And I think that they did portray them younger to fully show their character development throughout this season. Like, yo, I don't think this story is just going to end in one season. There's going to be multiple seasons. I just know it. This is getting so good. Okay. And we're only halfway through. And we just introduced one new party member. And from the opening ending stuff, you know, we're going to see more people. So it's like, yes, it's going to get good. I'm really excited for the next episode. What did you think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on Twitch.tv slash Hello Superfana. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to my podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehula.
and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the Faraway Paladin episode 6. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!